Hello, welcome back to my channel. Have a mail haul for you today. Uh, so we had another um, of the uh, sales down at the just got down my local village here uh, a couple weeks ago. Um, oh, I guess it was just last week. So yeah, we had a great great uh, book sale at the library and uh, the um, local uh, mill, which is National Historic Site we have here in the village. Uh, just put on this book sale to raise some money. And it was just kind of like, grab as much of these books as you want and pay the mission. Um, so yeah, it was, it's pretty good. I got like 26 books. Um, a couple of them I got also got from a charity shop in Smith Falls when I was there. Um, but most of them were from the, the books as well. But uh, yeah, I think it's like 26 books. I'm just going to get in on that. Uh, let's start off with the hardcovers. This is probably one of the finds of the weekend. This is a... Uh, Four books of Hammond Innes and these are all seafaring, uh, the seafaring novels. So I think Mark Rich Mark Richardson would certainly be interested in them. He's probably read them all anyway, but yeah, some uh, great novels in there for a dollar. You know, can't really argue with that. This one I just took a chance on. Don't know anything about it. Uh, Little Bastards in Springtime by uh, Catcher Rudolph. Um, I believe this is a uh, like refugee immigration immigrant story. Uh, family moves from Sarajevo to um, Toronto in the mid nineties, so it's kind of like fallout of the various skirmishes in uh, the former Yugoslavia. Uh, adding to my John Le Carre collection, uh, the Russian House. Pretty sure I don't have this, but if I do have it, I just have it in a, a paperback. So I'll grab the hardback just in case, and kind of at some point I'll work my way through most of the carries. I think I've only really read uh, Murder of Equality and The Spy Princess and the Cold, but I'll start reading the rest of them at some point. Uh, I finally got found a copy of this. It's in the Lake of the Woods by Tim O'Brien. I know um, Brian at Bookish really raved about this. Mark Nash also loved this. Uh, I think he, it was probably his favourite book. Uh, the year that it came out, I read it. Uh, I think it only came out a few years ago. Uh, oh, yeah, actually, it came out in 1994. Sorry. Um, I think whenever Mark Nash read it, I think he, it was his most enjoyable read. So, yeah, he wanted to read that for a while. And so on to the paperbacks, The Maltese Falcon by Dashiell Hammett, classic. I've read this before. I have um, a bind up of about, I think, four of the Hammett novels, but um, it's always nice just to have a single copy paperback, easy to read. Um, this has the most obnoxious stickers on the back. I think that's three stickers. Massive, massive three stickers, which are not coming off at all. And it has the one on the side too, and not, and for good use, another one there. Um, I'm not even going to attempt taking those off. And once I've read this, once I've read this, I might even just donate it back somewhere as well. So that's that. Uh, then I'll get the next one. I got Station Eleven by uh, Emily Saint John Mandel. Um, I think everyone knows this from a few years ago, uh, Canadian author Mr. John Mandel, um, deals with the pandemic. So that's fun. I think it's in, I think it's in the AJ Dunn's Thriller Reads book club, but coming on late next year, I think. The book club started in January with Patricia Heisman, uh, Santa and Mr. Ripley, um, and then it runs on until sometime in 2027. But it's one month, so I think it's there. Uh, this one is the first Wallander movie, Faceless Killers. Uh, well, it's not the Wallander book, Faceless Killers by Henry Mankell. Uh, yeah, Mankell. Um, uh, yeah, and this is the, the TV series tie-in, the British TV series tie-in. So it's got the, the beautiful face of Kenneth Branagh. <laughs> um, I haven't actually read any Wallander. Um, of all of the Scandinavian um, crime fiction, that uh, got uh, translated and then rushed. Um, Volan the Volander novels were actually kind of what 
I think we kickstarted it probably. Um, it's the only it's the only series I have not had a like did my color to pretty much. Um, so that's pretty fun. And I did what well, I watched that TV series too, so I know I know I know the volume I know the volume the uh, story and and, and, and uh, kind of world. Uh, Medicine River by Thomas King, indigenous writer, is American, and has, I believe has Canadian citizenship by now. He's been up in Canada for a long time teaching. Uh, yep, uh, and this is fiction. I think this is his first novel. Yeah, I think, I think this one's his first novel. This was published back in... This was published back in 1990. Yeah, 89, 90, 90. So, uh, yeah, this is for novel. Have a uh, great Canadian. I think it's a novel, but it's probably a. a it's probably a true story that's been slightly fictionalized. Or it might even just be a true story, but it's um, R.D. Lawrence, The North Runner. Um, and this is about a man who befriends a wild dog. Um, and I love these kind of stories. Um, Artie Lawrence was a, a famous Canadian naturalist. Um, and he's read a, wrote a bunch of books about his experiences, whether they're um, entirely non fiction or they're fictionalized stories of his life. Uh, not too sure, but uh, this one's set in uh, British Columbia and looks absolutely fantastic. I just love the. I love the little draw a little painting of the dog and him. It's pretty cool. Uh, Patricia Heisman. Uh, Strangers on the Plane. Uh, Strangers on the Train, sorry. I have this nice penguin edition. Uh, probably from the 70s. Oh, 80s. This one is 84. Uh, originally written in 1950, Patricia Heisman. Um, I can't remember, was this her? I can't remember if this is her first. Book or not. This is the only Patricia I think I've read though. So uh I'll be interested to read this again if it was very good. Um Patricia Highsmith is quite misanthropic, so uh always enjoyable to read. Uh I have no idea what this is, but it looks like a a war a war book, so Bloody Buna. Uh written by was it Lita Mail? A stirring saga of violence and victory. So yeah. It looks good fun. I don't know about it. Um, I'm kind of getting a little bit into the, the war novels at the moment. Just trolling my way through uh, trashy American, American pulp and uh, paperback originals. Uh, this one's originally from 1974 and the colour of the uh copyrighted Playboy. <laughs> so that's fun. Special action photo edition. Oh, it's got photos in it. Amazing. So is this... Yeah, is this, is this a novel or is this... I guess this is a novel, but it's... Uh... I guess it's a novel that's based on... A real battle, or is this just a non-fiction? I guess this might even just be non -fiction. I don't know, I have to look into that. That's more exciting, I didn't realize it has photos in it, that's cool. Uh, I've been collecting the Jack Higgins, so I've got uh, Jack Higgins, what's that? The Year of the Tiger, so it's hard to read backwards when uh, it's gold embossed. Um, it's 1962. Probably published around then. Jack Higgins was a great, um, a great British uh, writer of, um, I guess, war fiction, war spy fiction. Oh, elements of this novel are taken from a novel of the same title published in 1963 under the pseudonym Martin Fallon. Uh, but this actually was printed in 1996. I guess he wrote a book under a pseudonym and then just. Just like in the 60s decided to uh, take it and uh, 
make it into his own. I guess in that, I guess in 1996 he was probably under a deadline, but <laughs> a hard deadline, and he was uh, in danger of making because he, um, so he just took a story from an old, an old, uh, an old one he'd written and uh, reworked it. We have Jack Higgins in the hour before midnight. Dude, these are great. I love these little. Uh, the pictures aren't great, but they, they it's embossed. It's probably like embossed. So it's like, I don't know if you can quite see that, but yeah, it's uh, and it's quite. It makes it a little bit more hard, hard wearing a lot. Uh, when was this from? So yeah, um, Jack Higgins is most famous for. Um, what was it where the the eagle has landed? Yeah, the eagle has landed. That's the famous one, wasn't it? Which is also named to Morgan. He published a bunch of them. A bunch of eagle movie ones. Uh, yeah, he just was a prolific writer. Uh, so this is from 69, reprinted in 2000. Prolific writer of um, spy action um, novels. Sorry. <laughs> um, uh, William Goldwyn, Darkness Visible. Haven't really read any William Goldwyn. Um, I don't think I even read um, this most famous one, <laughs> Lord of the Lies. I don't think I've read that, but um, I have a couple of his books now, so checking him out. Uh, some westerns now, Ray, Ray Hogan, High Green Gun. Um, so this is a uh, Sean Starbuck novel, which I've read one other. I read it at the start of this year and really enjoyed it. So you're checking out another. Some Louis L'Amour, got Jubal Sackett. I've never read Lamore, so um, I hear he's absolutely amazing. Uh, everyone swears by him, so it'll be great to uh, read some Louis Lamour. Um, Night Over the Solomons. This looks like it's a. Um, looks like a kind of more of a revolutionary guerrilla freedom fighter. Um, I don't know what. Hey, what are you doing? Uh, sorry, my dog's just. Throwing books here. All right, let's grab that one. What are you doing, boss? <laughs> yeah, you sell them. You sell them. Okay. All right. Yeah, not sure what blue more political. Well, so we can just to see from that one. I uh, have Sitka, which is a swashbuckling. Yeah, I actually got uh, a range, just gets westerns, but I got uh, kind of a war grill one, a uh, swashbuckling as well. That's cool. Uh, so this is a western, and then uh, The Man from the Broken Hill. This is a Sackett novel. Uh, Bulgy. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, Texas Rangers. Looks like he's another model. That's a story. That's cool. So, like a star for now. Star for now, for me. I got the Ferguson rifle. Getting up, that's a little tidy, so I'll have to tape that up and probably might not last very long. And I have uh, Zane Gray, Majesty's Rancho. I've read one or two Zane Grays, but yeah, nice to read them again. And, oh, another Jack Higgins, Flight of the Eagles. Yeah, I've been just collecting a bunch of these, so I'll just probably. 
She loves crime novels. She's like 92 and just reads crime novels. And uh, stays up stays up all night reading them sometimes. Uh, Black Ace by Hans Werner Kettenbach. I have no idea. Uh, Kettenbach is to be set alongside Simenon and Patricia Heisman. That's uh, very much a... Uh, that's high praise and very much in my wheelhouse. Uh, yeah, German, born in Cologne. And this was made into a film in 1998. Where's this book from? Translated from the German by Andrew Bell. The uh, book was written in 82, and it was translated into English in 2005. Oh, that's interesting. That's good. That's kind of cool. German, German crime book from 82. That's actually more interesting than a modern one to me. Uh, I don't know, Bitter, Le Bitter Lemon Press. I don't know Bitter Lemon Press, but uh, if this is good, I'm going to check out what else they've, uh, what else they've uh, published. I'm assuming they probably specialize in translated crime fiction, but I shall have to check that out. Yeah, and there you have it. I think that's all 26 books. I've got lots of reading to do, uh, especially as I have pretty much... 99% of my library is unread, so yeah, I've got to get track of it, but I'll uh, see you all soon, probably with a tag, and help you have a good day, thanks.